Hey everyone and welcome back to another Jazzy Wicks candle review. Today I'm reviewing another DW home scent that I got from TK Maxx here in the UK. The main reason that I bought this scent in particular is how big the jar is. That was what appealed to me the most with this. I've never seen a DW jar this big. Like comparing it to the size of my hand, it is massive. I wish I had the the um, other two wick that I'd reviewed. I'll put that link down below just so you can see a couple of the others that I've reviewed. But I wish I'd kept one of those jars to put beside this. I would have said it only comes up to like maybe here. Um, this is huge. It is, and it weighs an absolute ton. So that is why I actually got it. Um, this is a hand poured 90 hour burn time, fresh strawberry sangria. And on the website for DW Home, which I'll also link below, it is actually $18 for this size. You can get a single wick for $14, but as I say, TK Maxx here in the UK always do DW candles for so cheap. So if I just twist this round, it cost me $12.99. So quite a lot of difference there. And you're still getting such a massive candle. It is absolutely huge. It weighs 2.6 pounds. Um, the burn time on the website says 56 hours, but this one says 90 hours, so I'm not too sure why that's different. Maybe this is a bigger one. This is the only, they've only got two on their website, and this says large double wick, which this is. Um, if I just show you in there, you can see it hasn't burnt very even, and I didn't have a draft on it or anything. I haven't trimmed the wick since I last burnt it, but I've had it burning for hours, but yeah, it's just not burning very even. It's not as clean of a burn as some of the other DWs that I've had. Um, so main reason for getting it absolutely huge, which I thought I've never seen one as big as that. And I thought I still had a jar at home that I could have compared it to for the video, but I'd got rid of them all already. So the uh, fragrance notes for this are fresh picked strawberries with strawberry leaf, sun blushed raspberry and sugared cherry steeped in sweet wine. For me, I'm a bit sad about this one. So this is the dearest one that I've bought so far from all the DWs that I've reviewed. And again, like I said, them, them reviews are down below, just in case you want to have a little look and try any that you come across in TK Maxx or HomeSense. But this one, I judged a book by its cover and I thought, oh, that's going to be amazing. It smelled quite strong of strawberry on a cold sniff. And this is probably... It's really strange because I find the really, really tiny DW single wicks that they do that are about $2.99 in TK Maxx, I don't ever feel like they're big enough to really give any throw, so I've stopped buying those ones. But then all of the, the medium double wicks that I've had have been amazing. But this one, I thought it'll be amazing. It's massive, it's got two wicks, it'll burn nice and evenly. But it's been anything but. I've just not enjoyed this one at all and I feel quite sad that I've wasted the $12.99 on it when I could have probably bought two mediums for that price. But obviously you don't know unless you try, but that's what I'm here for, to let you know. So unfortunately, this is a no for me. The smell on cold was really strawberry and strong and I really thought it was going to be lovely. But once I started burning it, it just wasn't all that. It just didn't really give off any scent at all. The, the strawberry really died down. I wouldn't say there was any raspberry to it. Um, I don't really get a sangria wine scent. I would just say it's a really weak strawberry. Um, obviously, Yankee Candle did a strawberry scent, which I thought was much better. Um, I've had wax melts in the past from other brands that do a nice strawberry scent. So I do think on this occasion, this one was a waste of money, which makes me really sad because... I thought once I'd stopped buying the tiny two ninety nine ones and realised that the mediums were better. Now I've ventured and got a large jar and it's just disappointed me. And unfortunately, I can't even use it under my um, wax warmer that you can see in the background because the jar is too big to fit underneath the lamp. So this one's just going to be a waste for me. I'll, I'll probably carry on just burning it just because I like having a flame burn. Like, I like that sort of amb ambience that it gives off. I know a lot of people do, that's why they don't use the electric um, lamp warmers, but unfortunately for me, this is not one that I would recommend. The ones that I put down below are going to be the ones that I really enjoyed, just so you can have a quick look at them in case you do come across them in TK Maxx and want to grab any, because majority of the time they are good value for their money. So I would say I've had a lot 
better than what I've had bad. I only find the small jars bad and on this occasion this one. So a bit disappointing, but we'll see what the next DWs are that I get. So next time I go there, I'll grab a few different ones, but probably not 12 99 jars. As always, thank you for watching and I'll get a new review out for you soon.